you drive around the Cincinnati area a lot, you might have noticed them mysterious cylinder type cell phone towers that look nothing like any cell phone tower most of us have seen before. But tonight, a growing number of tri-staters are getting worried about these towers and the 5G signals they will soon be sending out. Michelle Krinsky is a nurse who was out walking earlier this summer when she looked up and said, what's that? You can see it's an ugly, just like menace sitting there. Here at the entrance to the village of Cleves is the strangest looking cell tower residents like Dean Beckert have ever seen. Uh, it looks like a big heater to me. So Michelle called the village, the county and the state and no one knew anything about it. Have you tried to find out what it is? As of right now, we don't know who put it up. We don't know. Is it running 4G right now? Will be running 5G eventually? 5G cell service has become the hottest controversy as Verizon rolls it out to its first 20 cities, among them Cincinnati. Michelle, who lives in this quiet subdivision, has now joined those protesting it locally because she says we don't know enough about its health effects. As a registered nurse, I'm very much about informed consent, the right to choose, the right to decline. Here's a telltale sign your neighborhood's about to get 5G towers. You'll start to see plastic tubes like this with an orange or yellow cap. These contain the fiber lines that then connect all the 5G towers. The Facebook group Southeast Ohio for Reasonable Technology claims it spotted 5G towers here in Finneytown here in Westchester and by the Tri-County Mall. But the FCC allows these towers to go in with almost no local approval. Hamilton County engineer Ted Hubbard told us a few months back even he's left in the dark. We, we are having a hard time putting our finger on who actually owns it. No one has publicly stated who owns this mystery tower or any of the others popping up across the Tri-State. We contacted Verizon, which is bringing 5G to Cincinnati, about that strange Cleves Tower, but have not yet heard back. Nor has the mayor of Cleves returned our phone call. The FDA and FCC, meantime, say there are no proven links between 5G cell service and health effects. On WCPO.com, read my report on why some McDonald's in Cincinnati are now charging people for water. Check it out so you don't waste your money.